Today on the J.O. Riley Show, we talk Real Housewives of Sydney Season 2 finally in the works, and how Aussies can get a free portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. That's coming up right now. Don't go anywhere. Welcome to the Jay O'Reilly Show. I'm Jay, and thank you for joining me for today's news. So let's get straight into it. So first up, Real Housewives of Sydney. After a very, very long hiatus, Foxtel is looking to begin filming season two of the Real Housewives of Sydney in 2019, with at least two new members joining the cast. Rebecca Davis is one of those new members reported to being approached by Foxtel to sign up for season two. And at present, none of the original housewives have confirmed whether they will be returning for season two. Although it has been reported that my personal favorite, Lisa Oldfield, will be returning for season two. So I have my fingers crossed for that. So let's recap season one of the Real Housewives of Sydney. Sydney Housewives was a different beast altogether. If you've watched it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those of you who haven't, check out this quick clip of some of my favorite highlights from season one of The Real Housewives of Sydney. The last time I saw Athena X was at Maddie's Persian party and things didn't end so well. Talk to the hands! Talk to the hands! No! You said it to us! Talk to my six carat diamond, you You know bitch. what? I have an eight and a half! Shove it up your ass! Shove it up your ass! As you can see, The Sydney Housewives has a different flavor to a lot of the other international series. And that colorful language is one of the reasons why this Real Housewives of Sydney franchise has not been picked up in the US market. The Real Housewives of Melbourne has been incredibly successful, not just in Australia, but also overseas in the US market. But the Real Housewives of Sydney is the exception in that rule. Um, it, it was reported that the Bravo network that broadcasts a lot of the um, US versions and international versions in the US market uh, wouldn't pick up Real Housewives of Sydney because of its colourful language. And that has been a main reason why Foxtel uh, was slow to pick up the Real Housewives of Sydney for a season two. Although it is looking like now, like I said, filming will begin in 2019. However, despite the controversy, I loved Real Housewives of Sydney season one. To me, it puts the real in Real Housewives of Sydney. These women are courageous, they're bold, um, and particularly my favorite, Lisa Oldsfield. She's so uninhibited and loves to throw around those and fucks, and I love it. I don't think the world has ever seen a housewife like Lisa Oldsfield. Oh, fucking shut up, you Sorry. Sorry. How's that? Hi, Mum. Stop it! Pat the snake or smack you. F off away from me. Are you serious? Yeah. But underneath that gorgeous foul mouth is a warm, loving mother and wife. Although David Oldsfield would, I'm sure, disagree with me on that one. Yeah. Off. You stupid bitch. A bitch. I nearly f***ing drown. Dickhead. My vagina? Penis. When privileged white people get together dressed in white, it's like the KKK. Pretty much going to hell for that. And the girl's got an IQ of room temperature. The international symbol f***ing emergency. But I tell you, she has a heart of gold underneath underneath her, her tough exterior. Um, she is also a very passionate animal lover. I follow her Instagram page religiously and she's always posting out photos of Australian wildlife that she has personally rescued. And it's really touching to see that that somebody who portrayed on TV as, um, you know, somewhat of a villain, particularly on The Real Housewives of Sydney, she was sort of portrayed as the villain of, of the group. Stop Chewbacca. Oh, you just shut up. Oh. Like Chewy, she was giving hand jobs to the boys behind the bike sheds. Lunch with all these women together is like being lobotomized with a knitting needle and no anesthetic. Um, the troublemaker, um, I don't buy any of that. I love you, Lisa. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you follow her Instagram page, you will soon realize that she is a really deep human being. She is warm, compassionate. But that's why we love you, Lisa. God, I wish I drowned. 
So my other fave on Real Housewives of Sydney is of course Maddie. She is so flamboyant and she's a courageously strong woman. She runs a beauty salon in Sydney and she loves her Botox. And I have to say, Maddie, I will be coming to you for some Botox because I refuse to do wrinkles. Okay, you can see here, I, I, I don't want any of these expression lines. So Maddie, I'm coming to you to hook me up with the good stuff. And her tagline has to be one of the best out of any of the housewife, real housewives in the entire world. My lips may be fake, but they always speak the truth. I, <laughs> I can't do her, her accent very well, but let's listen to her do it. My lips may be fake, but they always speak the truth. Okay, so our last story today. So apparently, it is Australian law that every Aussie citizen entitled to a free portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. And it's been the case since the 1990s, although not many Australians would have ever realised that this was a thing. But thanks to a slow news day and a journalist who must have had a lot of free time on their hands, dug up this obscure law and published a story on one of the local Australian news websites and it went viral. Um, thousands of Aussies began emailing their MPs demanding their free portrait of their Queen. On a side note, Australia is the only country in the Commonwealth to give away free portraits of the Queen. Even in the UK, um, citizens can request a portrait of the Queen, however they must pay for it. In Canada, uh, citizens can download a free portrait of the Queen from the Parliament website in Canada, but nowhere else in the world do their citizens get a free portrait. So we're quite unique in that. So a lot of our MPs took to social media to um, post out um, <laughs> comments about this particular law. Um, some of them, you know, saying that this was Aussies taking the piss, you know, the good old Aussie spirit of, you know, getting something for free, we're entitled to it, why not get one? Uh, and that's exactly how I feel. One MP from, from Sydney, Alex Greenwich, he's a state MP, so he's not actually allowed to, or able to give out these free portraits. It's only from your federal MP that you can request them. So anyway, he's been inundated with requests um, because a lot of our voters can't tell the difference between state, federal, local. So anyway, that's a side issue. So anyway, he's uh, took to, he took to social media um, to post this tweet out. <laughs> We're getting a lot of requests for the portrait of the Queen. Please note only federal MPs can distribute them. My office will only distribute portraits of our favourite Queen at Courtney Act. <laughs> and if you don't know who Courtney Act is, she is probably one of the most successful um, Australian drag queens of the modern era. So to receive your free portrait of the Queen, you must contact your local federal MP and tell them that you want your free portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, so this is under, under the Constituents Request Program. Now this, like I said, was set up in the 1990s and not many Aussies took particular attention to it. And this program was created to provide Aussies with um, nationalistic um, items. So under this program, you can also request things like Aussie flags, recording of the national anthem and as well as the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. To receive your free portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, you need to contact your federal MP and ask for one. It's as simple as that. So the portrait of the Queen that you will receive portrays the Queen wearing her now famous wattle spray brooch that she was given on her first trip to Australia back in 1954. The image of her was specifically taken for Australians. This wattle spray brooch was given to the Queen on her first visit by the then Prime Minister of Australia, Sir Robert Menzies. 
The 92 year old monarch has worn this particular brooch on every one of her many Australian visits and Commonwealth game events. That's the show for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe and click the notification button so you never miss an episode. And I'm done.